Hello, Geico. Yeah, I was just talking about your emergency roadside service and how it's available 24-7 and then our car overheaters. But what are the chances? Can you send a tow truck, please? Uh, the location? I'm not going to believe this, but it's, um, it's in a tree. I wish I was joking, mate, but it's literally stuck in a tree. A chainsaw? No, no. All we really need is a tow truck. Day or night, Geico's emergency roadside service is there for you. In the land of the midnight sun. Late camera action. Days for Dr. Michelle Oakley seem to never end. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Whether it's rounding up rogue horses, oh. taking down superstars, Kim McGraw. Three, two, one. even keeping clear of a stampede, You're a wild girl. it's all in a day's work. Oh. It's morning in the Yukon. The sun's been up for hours, and Michelle's headed deep into the wilderness, making a house call nearly 200 miles north. Make sure you get your boots on. She's got a big job ahead, so the whole family's coming along. Willow, just stand there and look pretty. We got it. Hey, okay. We're out. We're out. We're done. Yay. Hurry up. Come on. Okay, Penny. Thank you. With a full day of work in front of them, there's no time to waste. Everybody's ready? Set. So they're hitting the road in an airplane. Awesome. All right, let's load up with the plane and start flying away. We're taking a full plane because uh, the place we're going to is a remote part of the Yukon. It's uh, just the easiest, quickest, and cheapest way to get into the country. Oh my God. Penny! Oh, Penny's burning. Oh my God. The Oakleys are headed to the Dixon Outfitters, owned by good friends Dave and Tina Dixon. Dave has a horse he needs me to do surgery on. Problem is he can't find it. So I'm actually going to go up and help try and round it up and then I'll get the surgery done. Traveling to the Dixons by air takes a little over an hour. Less than half the time it takes to drive. Hey. Hey. Hey, you guys. We made it. Right Welcome right back. Yes. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, please came up. They're going to give us a hand and try and find uh, seven or eight of our horses that are missing. Shane is going to give me a hand on the ATVs, and then Michelle's going to fly around and see if they can't spot him from the air. I'm not going to flip it over, am I? All right. The Dixon's horses are free range, spending the winter roaming over 5,000 square miles of wild country. Most of them have been rounded up for summer, but a few are still out there. Let those horses try and hide now. It's a huge area to cover. I mean, we could go 50 miles before we find them. So that's not feasible just on four-wheeler in most cases to find them like that. Radio check, please. Right. Check. One of those is a young horse named Elvis. He's got a hernia, and Dave fears it could rupture at any time. First, we're going to look close in, hopefully find them there. Otherwise, we're going to have to go out farther and, and just kind of keep making a bigger and bigger uh, search area. Key to finding them is covering a lot of ground fast and keeping your eyes open. Perfect to get up here and get a bird's eye view because it's really hard to see from the ground. A lot of it's really thick bush. There's a lot of gullies and, you know, you're going up mountainsides and down into canyons and there's no way you'll see them until you're right on them. Then, after covering thousands of acres, Michelle finally catches a glimpse of them. Work. Checking out the hernia Elvis has had since birth. One that looks like it's getting steadily worse. Elvis is only two, but by the time he's five or six, he'll be one of our saddle horses, one of our pack horses, and an important part to our pack strength. You can see it. Oh yeah. yeah. He's got a major Audi. He's uh, looks like he's a turkey done cooking. If a hernia is left untreated, it will keep growing, pushing the intestines through the protective abdominal wall. It's a condition that can quickly turn critical. Hey buddy. How are you? How are you? 
So there it is, there's the hernia. So that's actually where his belly button would be right there. And it's right at the umbilicus for the belly button. And that is where, when he was a baby, he was attached to the mom. But when he came out, that kind of, that area by his, by his belly button dried up, but that body wall never closed. Fixing a hernia is major surgery. So Michelle's called in some backup. Vet tech, Carrie Golka. So what we'll do, Dave, is get started putting a catheter in and sedating them. Okay. And drop them right in here. Sedating an animal this size is risky for the animal and for the people. He kind of just lift his head and then legs. Oops, backwards, backwards. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's easy, 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 that's this surgery requires him to be flat on his back. A dangerous proposition, especially when working in the field. You want to lift him? Yeah, he does. Oh, oh, oh. Easy. Oh, oh, oh. Beauty. That's how she's done. Nice. The surgery was incredible. I mean, there wasn't a whole bunch of blood. I mean, there wasn't guts hanging out. You know, she had him all sewed back up again. He, he came out of his drugs really well. And, didn't hurt himself getting up. Ooh, oh, sweetheart. When all hell breaks loose. She's not real excited about being close to us. She hasn't been handled much before, been in close proximity with people much. Careful. Uh, let's get out of here before she pulls it down. So, that's... So it looks like that injected is fine. So now if everyone can kind of come back from the pen and just let her relax, then she'll be more likely to get sedate. The point of the sedation is not likely that she'll go down. She may lay down a bit, but she's still gonna be able to get up. It's just whether or not we take enough of the edge off, I can go up and examine her, we can maybe slip a halter on her, and then we can actually restrain her safely. Look at those ears, they're dropping back, mm -hmm. her eyes are. There we go. Just relax. Okay, I'm just gonna try and get in from behind, just have a peek at her. I'm gonna go slow with you. This is where my superpower choice would be go go gadget arms. I could stand here and be like, come here. Oh, come on. Unlikely animal friend. New episode Saturdays at 8 on Nat Geo Wild. Michelle is at All Paws Clinic using x rays to determine if Splash, a miniature horse, has a dangerously infected tooth. That looks suspicious. Important member of the family. With Splash heading home, Michelle hits the road back to Hurlbird's farm. She needs to finish up an exam on a feisty cow with some odd-looking genitalia. And this time, the team is ready for her. There she is. Okay. To succeed, she'll need to get up close and very personal. So we're gonna pin her, huh? There is no handling system, so to speak. So we can see if we can get up close enough. Maybe we could restrain her against one side of the pen. Cody's dad, Dev, and a farmhand are pitching in to wrangle this energetic bovine. We can get her in a corner and pin her with these panels. We just want to make sure they're really sturdy because they could come in on us yeah. pretty easily. Yeah. Cool yeah. <clears throat> girl. Okay, don't let it uh, touch her yet. <laughs> they move carefully. Cody's already seen that this cow can move a lot of steel. Take two. After what happened last time, Michelle's not touching this cow until she's fully restrained. It's just gonna be quick. That's looking good. You did it. Nicely done, boys. Yeah. What I can see is her vulva 
is in place, um, but the clitoris is actually sticking right out of the hole and is quite swollen and large. Um, that could mean that she's a hermaphrodite. That could mean that she also maybe has a hormone imbalance or some issue going on. Um, she may not even have a female that could ever become pregnant. You're so silly. So, are you watching so Dr. Oakley? Differentiate those two things and you do running with a porcupine. The problem with waiting until morning is the dog will definitely break off love and build on its own. And um, those quills will then tend to migrate and they can hop out of the room. Runners on the planet. Running races over a thousand miles long in freezing temperatures. The dogs are more like my child, so not only pets, right? So all my harness and uh, every dog. Hey puppies! This is exciting! Oh, this is exciting! Oh, this is to go head to toe. Oh, this is exciting! 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 Oh, this is Roof in their mouth. Oh, Those are sled doggies. Out on the course, dogs who aren't in tip top condition can get seriously injured. A minor birth defect could have major repercussions. Really important is to check their heart because sometimes they can have murmurs or heart defects that could impact their ability to develop and become a racer. Next one. Even though there's eight in this litter, each one of them is a little bit different. Um, not just in coloring, but even personalities. Some are a lot more outgoing. Oh, I got to go for a camera. <laughs> That's okay. That's good for it. Some are a bit smarter and a bit more sly. I know. I know. Come on, play. What the heck, huh? And um, some are just wanting to have fun and lick your face. I see you. I see you. The puppies all look great. Uh, they're super happy and excited. They're a little nervous about their first exam. It's okay. You were jumping all over me a second ago. But uh, they, they did just fine. Aw. Oh, sweetheart. Thank you. That's awesome. Love puppies. Love me some puppy friends. Have a great end of the day. Alright, see you guys later. Puppies! I think they all want to come home with us. There's room in the truck. Are they all gone? Where'd they go?